Early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Creator Network. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the mysterious masquerade house template that you unlock if you manage to complete the mysterious masquerade live event in the time limit. This live event will begin on the 28th of October for 10 days, and if you manage to complete this, you'll find the house under the driveway homes tab on a standard and a premium residence. The first one you build is free, after this it will cost simoleons. The amount varies based on how many houses you've already built. So let's take a look at it on standard residence first. From the outside we can see it looks fairly grand. We've got the four car spaces at the front, like we usually do on a driveway home slot. This is the standard driveway home slot. I would have liked a different location for this lot. I think it would look better with like spooky surroundings as it's a bit of a Halloween-y themed event so this doesn't really go with the rest of the house. Let's take a look inside now. So if you thought it looked grander on the outside, it looks even grander on the inside. We've got that gorgeous staircase that you unlock in this live event, that is the main feature of this entrance hallway here. And then we have two door frames leading to the separate sides of the house. The one on this side leads into sort of a, like a museum-y area, which is a bit strange. I'm not really sure why. There's a staircase there that goes downstairs to the basement, we'll check that out in a bit. Let's finish looking around this floor first. This room is more like it, we've got a large living area with the dance floor at the back here. Lots of those pillars that you unlock in the live event. And on this side of the room we've got... I don't really know how to explain it, it's just a room with a seat in it. And then this looks like an office. So I'm not really sure why on one side we've got a museum and the other side we've got an office. Maybe that's meant to be like a reception to greet people into the museum. I, I'm just sort of making stuff up because I really do not know. Let's take a look at the basement level now. Uh, so this looks more like a home rather than a public area. So we've got the gym in the first room here. Then next door, this is more like it for a living room. We've got a living room and bedroom all in one. So this is definitely the living quarters of someone who lives in this house. I'm not really sure who the house is designed for. The last room down here is well, it's three rooms in one. We've got a pantry, we've got a shower room, and we've got a laundry room all in one. I think the person who built this house thought we had a certain number of rooms that they had to use. I don't know why you would put a pantry in with a toilet or the hygiene there. No, I, I really do not like that. I would remove the whole pantry part and add a separate room for the pantry there. The laundry room being in with it, it's still not ideal, but I would take that over the pantry being in there. So let's take a look at the second floor now. So the large grand staircase leads up to a floor with a grand piano on it. And we lead through there into the dining room. There's also a bar in this room. There's only space at that really large table for four seats though. That is an eight seat table, so I don't know why we're missing seats there. Especially as this is such a large house, they probably have lots of guests. Next door we have a toilet. Is there a toilet in there? Oh, there is one. There's a toilet, a sink, a mirror, a hand dryer, and somewhere to store your jackets. Not really sure why. Next door we have the kitchen. I feel like we're missing quite a few counters in here. We've got the pantry cupboard at the end here, a fridge at the end, 
but there's no counters in between. I feel like we need some counters there. I really love this mezzanine with the staircase. It's going to go up to the third floor in this house. And again, it looks like we've gone back to looking like a museum. Lots of seats surrounding by sculptures. I really just don't get the point of this house. Is it a house? Is it a museum? Let's take a look in the bedrooms now. So there are two bedrooms up here. So maybe it is actually a hotel. Whatever it is, I don't think the decor goes with the rest of this house. It definitely doesn't go with those curtains. I feel like this floor is just an afterthought. Let's take a look at the other bedroom. Again, the decor is pretty much the same as the previous bedroom. And again, it has an ensuite. Although, actually, there are two doors. So there's one coming from the landing and one coming from the bedroom. So that makes me think it's probably not a hotel. Let's take a quick look at this house from a distance now before we take a look at it on the premium residence. Let's take a look at this house on our premium residence now. You can see that most of the house is the same, but as we get towards the back, there are a few differences. This beautiful balcony top garden is one of the differences, but we'll get to the others a little bit later on. Let's head inside now and take a look at the ground floor. So as you can see, the front of this floor is exactly the same as it was on the standard residence. So I won't talk you through that. though is different we have two corridors down each side and then one at the end this is basically to hold up that balcony that is above it with the garden on it 
so there's not really that much going on down here we've got a few bookcases and seats but that's about it really There are no doors on the second floor to get to the balcony, you've got this staircase here. I think that works really well on the balcony. And you've got the matching railings around the edge of the balcony. The seats for that table are too far away, I don't know why they're a square away from the table. I do like this balcony but I think it needs to be spookier. I'm getting like romantic garden vibes from this rather than masquerade ball vibes. The rest of the house though is exactly the same so I'm not going to talk you for it but I will just show you it. If you would like to see all of the prizes available in this live event, check out my video, the link is in the description. You can also check out my blog post to find out all about the live event, including all the information you need to know about all of the prizes. I really cannot look at this health hazard of a room. That would be the first thing I would change. And that was my tour of the mysterious masquerade house, the unlock on the Sims free play if you manage to complete the mysterious masquerade live event in the time limit. I really love the items in this live event. I just feel that this house is such a letdown because firstly it's not really a house, it's more like a museum with bedrooms in it. And secondly, it's not Halloween-y enough for me. We've gone to the trouble of unlocking the Halloween themed masquerade ball items and they haven't really been put to good use in this house. The decor in some parts is just completely wrong for the style of this live event. The mysterious masquerade live event will be available from the 28th of October 2021. Thanks for watching. Bye!